and say good morning. Say I'm waiting for the coffee to brew so I could go outside. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Are these the treats you're looking for? Yeah, I think so. Oh, gobble them up. Mm-hmm. Make them disappear. On the last strip. All right, we're good to go. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Come on. Yep, let's go. Lead the way. Yep, good girl. Come on. Oh, moose calling. <laughs> I got some fresh air, some grass. It's a beautiful morning. Coffee chat time with my new mug, Stitch. So weird seeing coffee straight through the mug. <laughs> really weird uh, but yeah I love it so if you're having your morning cup of coffee or tea cheers here's a wonderful day yeah, it's gorgeous out mmm it's a good cup of coffee yeah let's have a coffee chat thank goodness for coffee mm-hmm mm. oh I love that oh so cute oh I, need, I think I'm going to have to start a collection of clear, of clear mugs. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. It's so different. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Lois went back inside. She was out for, like, three minutes. And as I was setting up my tripod, she wanted to go back inside. She seems to only be out for a few minutes. And then she's good and goes back inside. Yeah, so I have all the boys back to school items all piled up in the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, I got everything they need and, um, I, like, because I've been buying stuff, like, from Dollar Tree, Dollar Rama, Walmart. If I saw something and I knew they needed it and I was out, I picked it up and came home, tossed in the back. So now everything is gathered into a pile where it will patiently wait um, probably like another week <laughs> till I get to it. Yeah, I usually do a Labor Day weekend. That's when I do, that's when I go through their school stuff and organize it and put everything in their backpacks, take off the tags. That's when I do it because um, I don't want I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mm. There's not enough coffee in the world to motiv motivate me to get the back to school stuff ready. No. Mm -mm. I will wait until I absolutely have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be here before, before we know it. Casey's birthday will be here before we know it. His birthday's in a couple of weeks. His birthday present came in the mail yesterday from Amazon. I found everything on Amazon. Um, he kind of made it easy for me because he said he wanted marble, so I was like, okay, that makes it easy. I just hit up Amazon and and uh, snuck, snuck it in the house. <laughs> it was on the couch playing Roblox, and I got the notification on my phone that it was delivered, okay? And it's like, okay, go swoop, because, you know, porch pirates, um, unfortunately, are still a thing. Um, during the beginning of the pandemic, I had a pair of shoes, um, sandals that were swiped from our porch I never got them so yeah so I, I just don't know why people like I hope they were a size whoever took them I hope they were a size nine but um huh. if not then maybe you shouldn't take stuff that doesn't belong to you right like um but yeah so to, um as soon as I got the vacation it's like whoosh, right to the door grab it bring it in the house and yeah, he was on the couch playing Roblox, and I snuck right by. Do, 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 do. You don't see nothing here, distracted. So, and it's just so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> it's like, little do you know, you know, I am walking right by with your birthday present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I took it to the back and I opened them and approved of everything. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's just nice to get his birthday shopping done, back at school shopping done. Very expensive time of the year. You would think it was Christmas, but nope, that's next. Gotta start getting ready for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, it'll be here before we know it. Like, you blink, you know, like, they go back to school, and then it'll be Thanksgiving, and then Halloween, and then boom, it's time to put up your tree. And then, <laughs> and, and then, like, all the activities, like the Christmas parade, you know, all that stuff happens, and then boom, it'll be Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, okay? <laughs> yeah. It's, and, like, it, it's just flying by so fast. Like, I can't believe we are, you know, already at the end of summer and we're heading back to school soon like it's nuts mm -hmm. it's just nuts i don't know time seems to be going by faster these days yeah yeah mm -hmm. but i'm just happy to get that shopping done with and yeah and then i'll start thinking I've already started, I've, I've actually already started thinking what to get them for Christmas. I've been shopping online, you know, saving it to my wish list, you know, if I want to go back, you know, and buy it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's never too early. Nope, nope. Get out of the way. Mm. Oh, that's my coffee. Yeah, and I've been getting caught up on Big Brother. The hubby and I have been both getting caught up on Big Brother. Um, I think I'm on episode, I finished episode seven. So I have to watch the newer episodes. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, with Big Brother, there's always people that you like right away, and there's people that you don't like right away. And one of those people is, um, uh, is it, what is his name? Starts with an H, Hiram, something like that. I don't like him. I don't like him. I just, I don't. And a lot, a lot of people in the house don't like him because because okay so he's part of this alliance okay but he's acting like he's like um a head of the household like and he and he is he one head of the household but he's acting like he's in control of the house like because they were they were um in like a room and he was talking with his alliance but he was the only one talking nobody nobody's um, nobody else's voice mattered. He didn't want to hear what they thought. He just wanted to hear, like, you know, his input. Like, it, it, it's like, you know, you're part of alliance. That means it's not just your opinion who you think should, you know, be your next target, who should be next out of the house. Uh, there's other people in your alliance, dude, not just you. So, like, oh my gosh, yeah, like... Acting like, you know, he's in, in control, and oh my gosh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I think I tell him, tell people, okay, you know, this is who we're going to go after next, this is our next target, and, and they're sitting there like, uh, you don't tell me how to play my game, and, you know, so, um, yeah, and that's a great way to get, put a target on your back, yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, but, yeah, oh. and then, like, watching the, watching the, like, the competitions, um, the one... I think, yeah, it was the head of household one, the one that he won. Um, it was a haunted, like a haunted house kind of um, competition. There were these certain areas that made, made it look really spooky, and there were these certain areas, and there were like these dots, red dots on the ground where you had to go and try to hide, okay? So there were like dots behind a car, a station wagon, um, in a garage, on a porch, um, in the, um, somewhere where, like, a bunch of chainsaws, so, like, yeah, it looks like horror movie set, and so, and then this creepy guy, you know, comes out, and, um, if he finds your hiding spot, he got eliminated. That part was so, so boring. I don't know about anybody else if you're watching Big Brother, but I skipped through that part, because I, I, it was so boring. It's like, oh, okay, you're pretty much playing hide and seek. Oh, oh, okay, I'm skipping. Like, I don't know, like, I, I did find some, I, I am finding some of, some of it, like, boring. I don't know, but, I can't. I know, like, Big Brother has run its course, obviously, it's not as good as it used to be, and it's not going to be as good as it used to be, no matter what new things they try, but I still watch it, you know, to see who wins, and, 
<laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, last year I, I think we lost interest quick last year. So, so far, you know, we're still watching it. So, yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we did yesterday. Just, you know, binge watched a whole bunch of um, Big Brother episodes in the afternoon and it felt nice. Yeah, I've been a busy beaver doing all the shopping. So, it just felt nice to um, do absolutely nothing and watch Big Brother. Yep. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Mm. And I finished my book, um, Nora Roberts' book. Um, it's inside. I think that was one of her early books. I didn't really, like, I, I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as her other books. Yeah, it just, it felt like it took forever yeah to finish it like oh my gosh yeah a, a slow in certain areas um then it would pick up and it'd be really really good and be all this excitement and you had to you know turn to the next page to see what happened quick and and then it slowed down and it was that that kind of book you know went back and forth which is okay but it just wasn't one of my favorites of hers so i will probably read do I'll, you'll, i found that one at our thrift store so i will probably um when i go to the um, little free libraries i will drop that one off mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah I think it just it took me longer to read to get through and yeah like it was still good but yeah not not one of my favorites of hers so yeah yeah I'll have to show you guys I'll have to go grab it mm. Uh, or I'll just put a picture right here on the book. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the book actually um, came from Dollarama. <laughs> I didn't notice it at first until I started reading it. And I flipped up the I flipped the bag, and it's like there's a three dollar dollar of uh, Dollarama sticker in the corner. Um, I think I paid around two dollars for it, so. But I was like, oh, don't read my book. <laughs> oh, I would never have thought, like, yeah, Nora Roberts' book would be at Dollarama. But yeah, I'm like, oh, that's that was funny. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good coffee. Mm. And well, it, it tastes really good when it's in a, in a cute mug, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. It disappears fast too. <laughs> Stitch, stop drinking my coffee. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, soak up this weather before it gets too hot. I know. It seems to be nice in the morning and then get warm in the afternoon. Mm. Yeah, so I think that's all that's been going on. Just taking it easy and um, trying to figure out for Casey's birthday party what I'm going to make. I have no idea yet. Um, yeah, trying to get an idea of something that's, you know, um, cheap, it won't cost a lot, and it's something that somebody will, will, everybody will enjoy, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, oh, my god time, <laughs> mm. And I'm already hearing from Henry, I don't want to go to school, and um, Casey actually wants to go to school, so I have one who's excited to go, and the other one who's not, and of course that's Henry, and he, he's like, oh, I want, I, I want to do online learning. Another night, he was like, oh, it, it would be easy on you. <laughs> I burst out laughing because clearly this child has amnesia. Okay. <laughs> it was not easy on me when we had to do online learning and we went back and forth, back and forth, you know, between um, going to the actual school, you know, classroom, and then doing it at your home. Okay, we, we, I don't know how many times we did that. We did it so many times, I've lost count. And it was not easy, okay? It was frustrating. Um, it was stressful, okay? And... Um, 
no, I'm not doing it again. Like, you couldn't pay me to do it again. Like, no, it is not worth it. And like, no, <laughs> heck no. <laughs> and I don't think his school is doing it. I know at the beginning, um, when everything was starting to get back to normal, they were doing it. There were some kids who were still doing online learning, but I don't think they are right now. So, um, but I, I just tell him, you know what? I'll look into it, but there's a good chance, and there's there's a good chance. <laughs> yeah. There's a you know the good chance that they're not doing it, but um, <laughs> there's no way. Even if they were doing it, no, 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 fat chance, no, get out. <laughs> but honestly, I don't think they are. No. Mm -mm. I was like, yeah, nice try, but no, we are going to school. Uh. Yeah, and it's gonna come here, I like guess it's, it's fastly approaching, like I tell you, once August comes, August steps by and then boom, it's the first day of school, yeah, it's crazy, yeah, but I'm happy to get their back to school stuff all done, and yeah, pretty much got their stuff everywhere, like Walmart, Dollarama, Dollar Tree, thrift stores, which is awesome, I'm gonna keep an eye out on thrift stores. Um, especially for the, like, the good binders, um, which I know they'll need later on. Uh, yeah. Yep, because why not, you know, save your money. And, uh, yeah. Mm. I got a busy little neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah, cars are on by. There must be something going on. Mm. Yeah, and, and Marshalls. I went to Marshalls too. Because the only thing I got at Walmart were the colored pencils and the markers. That was it. Because those were like $1.97. And I wasn't pleased with what else they had. I just wasn't. I just wasn't. Their selection just wasn't the best. And I was like, this is it. This is what you have. And and I go to Marshalls, and Marshalls has what I need it at a really good price. So I'm going to be going to Marshalls for now on, you know, for stuff like that. So, to you, Walmart. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. I, I don't know. I, I, our Walmart, um, it's just not the best. It, it isn't. And um, it's fast training, you know. So, yep. Oh, yeah, and even, like, you know, Christmas time, we don't have the Hallmark ornaments. That ticked me off. Oh my gosh. Found that out um, during the pandemic. Yeah. A couple of years ago, they decided. But the other Walmarts have them. We have two other Walmarts near us in Windsor. They have them. But we, it's very hard for us to get to those Walmarts. Um, I think if I did go when they first hit the floors, I would have to go by myself and pick one out for everyone. Because I know what everybody likes and what characters I like but yeah on Walmart decided to you know take that away which was not a great idea that ticked me off like how dare you take that away like what were you thinking obviously you weren't thinking like you didn't have enough coffee because that was a dumb decision I'm sorry but it was dumb I mean, I always, every year, would buy their, their Hallmark ornaments, and then the one year they decide, I we're not going to have them. <laughs> uh, what now? <laughs> like, honestly, like, ugh. Like, who, who makes these stupid decisions? Like, can I get paid millions of dollars to make stupid decisions? Because I could come up with some stupid ideas. You know, everybody can. But you know what I mean? It's like, who thought about that? It's like, why? Why aren't you selling them? And they always sold because that's people like buying the Hallmark ornaments because they were a little bit cheaper. You know, like, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm going to finish my coffee and go inside <laughs> and uh, figure out what to do today. Yes, I don't know. Um, wrong adult chores, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Um, keep it up the house, which is still clean from when we had Henry's party. So that's my goal to like, you know, um, to keep like the counters and table decluttered, which they still are. I'm amazed. Um, I know, because they're a magnet and they get cluttered very quick. But they, they are still nice and clean. So if I could keep up with that, that's great. 
and uh, yeah, mm, excuse me, and um, you know, for our next coffee chat, which mug I will have, the Little Mermaid mug, the other one I bought, yeah, uh, <laughs> not Snow White, <laughs> Oh my gosh, Snow White. Oh, yeah. I'm happy. I, oh my gosh, I have no interest in seeing the new Snow White movie. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to see it. It's just um, the girl that plays Snow White, Rachel Zegler. No clue who she is, but she's like trashing her own movie. Trash talking her own movie, you know, saying, oh, it's not 1937 anymore. And, She's not looking, going out there looking for true love. She's looking for leadership and, oh, you don't need Prince Charming. And it's like, go away, go away. Like, can we redo this movie, please? It hasn't even been out yet, but can we redo it, please? Because first of all, like you take away the seven dwarfs and you replace them with magical creatures because a guy that, um, what's his name, Peter um, something, you know, he played on, he played on Elf, right, with Will Ferrell, um, and, you know, got his knickers in a knot and he thought, oh, that's offensive, you know, to, you know, and it's like, okay, but then there's actual little people who wanted those roles and they were like well you don't speak for all of the little people and I was just like oh my gosh um yeah and then like um and like Gail 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 um what's her last name can't can't can don't so whatever um you know Wonder Woman um she's playing the evil stepmother and it's like I can't picture her as that role I can't like no like <laughs> you know um yeah, and like there's no Prince Charming, no Prince Charming, <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, okay, like, and then like she said, oh, she's not going, she's, she's not looking for love, and this girl has only watched the Snow White movie, like, twice, okay, twice, so, um, Snow White, in the movie, never really went looking for love, okay, she, when she was at the well, and, Prince, prince Charming came around the corner. She didn't know that, that he was a prince. He didn't have a tag, hello, <laughs> my name is Prince Charming, okay? She had no idea that he was a prince. Okay, so she obviously, you know, she was running for her life. Um, she's a survivor, you know, and she found a cottage with seven little men. She survived and that's that's what she is. She's a, she's a survivalist, right? Um, she didn't go out looking for love, okay? But love found her. And there's nothing wrong with going out looking for love, looking for Prince Charming. There's nothing wrong with that. Some people want that. So why are you taking it away? I don't know. It's just like, this is so oh, crazy. And, you know, like I really don't want to see the movie. I don't. I don't, I don't. It's just going to be a hot mess. Um, and she doesn't have... Disney princess vibes like um, Haley Bailey, um, sorry Hallie, Hallie Bailey um, from The Little Mermaid. She did a fabulous job. Um, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen the trailer, and I can already tell you she's done a fabulous job. Um, and when they started to tease for The Little Mermaid, like I, I wanted to see The Little Mermaid when it was just like a teaser, when it was just like a teaser for the trailer. We didn't even see the full trailer yet, and I wanted to see it because it looked really good. And then the trailer came, and it's like, yep, okay, that confirms it. I really want to see it. And I know, I know it comes out on Disney Plus soon, so I want to, I want to watch it, and I know I'm gonna love it. And I, you know, with with what I've, uh, what I've seen online with clips and that, she has Disney princess vibes. Okay, she is beautiful. She's kind, you know, sweet. Um, Rachel Zegler, mm -mm, no, she doesn't have Disney princess vibes. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> and, um, who, who's our like you know PR person <laughs> like doing the like, are they just does she even have one because like she is she's like trashing them trashing her own movie anyways but yeah I know that's just let's uh, how about we um stop it with the live movies okay let's stop making live movies please let's just stop it with live action movies just enough enough Disney you know and Disney has lost a lot a lot of money because they've had a few flops yeah so um enough let's give it a break okay okay 
and I know they're supposed to do a live Lilo and Stitch and when I showed what Stitch looked like it was like oh my gosh no no you know it's just <laughs> that's what nightmares are <laughs> like, honestly it's like no uh, let's just stop <laughs> like yeah yeah I don't know it's just nuts and there are a few good Disney action lives like you know I love Aladdin um, but it, it's just the other ones you know like Beauty and the Beast was you know not the best Beauty and the Beast I, I think if it if they didn't have Emma Watson you know like I don't know like yeah her as Belle yeah um, but yeah <laughs> Let's just, let's stop, you know, let's, let's stop. Stop while we're ahead, okay? Yeah, before you make any more damage. Uh, but yeah, I was like, when I would watch TikToks, and I was like, oh my gosh, who does this girl think she is? She's coming off as entitled, you know? Um, and the dress, the Snow White dress, when you see pictures of it, it looks like it came from Wish, you know? And that's what it looks like. It looks like it came from Wish. I don't know, but... As of right now, I have no interest in seeing Snow White. I just really want to see Little Mermaid when it comes out, I think, pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, so. Ooh, birds are chirping away. And my coffee is almost empty. How rude. <laughs> Gotta fill it up. Ooh. Go to the last trot. Alright guys, so um, that's it for this coffee chat and coffee. Mm, yep, gotta fill her up. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me for a coffee chat, and I hope everyone is doing well. And I hope if you're by the by the fires, we're also watching the news, while well, well, the um, TikTok videos, because um, here in Canada, if you want to find follow news stations on the Book Face or Instagram, you can't because they're not allowed to. I don't know. It's, our, our government's stupid. Um, yeah. yeah, so we go, we uh, will look it up on either YouTube or um, TikTok to get information on the fires in the BC area are just crazy. People are losing their homes and are they ever going to stop? You know, I heard someone said that um, so much has burned that it's um, the amount that has burned is the size of the state of Alabama. Like, what the heck? That is just nuts, and I just hope they stop, and I hope, you know, and people are being evacuated, um, like I said, losing their homes, um, so yeah, I hope everyone, if you're near that area, that you're staying safe, and that this is going to be over soon, because it's just, it's terrible, terrible, um, anyways, yeah, so I hope everyone's doing good, and I'll see you guys next fun video, take care, be blessed, and, um, I'm going to get more coffee, <laughs> fill her up, <laughs> ta-ta for now, bye.